the store to come. Uh, thank you, Chair uh, Leopold and members of the board. Carlos Palacios, County Administrative Officer. Uh, today's a very exciting uh, day for the county because we are having our first um, public study session on our strategic planning effort. Uh, I do believe that uh, establishing a strategic, strategic direction uh, for an organization is one of the most important things that we can do as um, both as elected leaders and as their appointed leaders. Um, it helps to know everyone, have everyone uh, on the same page in the organization, in the community, and to know what the, the board's priorities are uh, in the coming years. So what we are doing today is having a uh, study session that is meant to, meant to introduce strategic planning um, to the board and the public. Uh, and as well as discuss how do we do strategic planning and, and why is it important. We've already conducted this session with uh, our department heads at a retreat a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and yesterday we started uh, our um, leadership academy. It's uh, called the LEAP program, which is the Learn, Engage, Apply, and Perform program with over uh, 40 um, county administrative uh, staff. And that was uh, yesterday and it went very well. There was a lot of excitement in the room uh, as people are engaging in this process. So before we get started, I wanted to provide a little bit of context to the board and uh, to the public about how does this strategic planning effort fit into the work plan for the county over the next few years. So um, we're gonna cue up a little bit of a, a um, this is uh, a work plan that we've looked at for the, for the next three years that I've presented um, to staff and the board, and I want to go over it with the public. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, this is basically just going over the next three years, and so you'll see that um, in the first year, uh, the emphasis on strategic planning, setting strategic direction for the organization. Now we're gonna be working on a number of different initiatives this year, including uh, continuous process improvement. Um, you folks talked about that, in fact, um, when we were discussing in the board meeting that we just finished, we talked about um, the illegal dumping issue and how could we monitor that, and that's a perfect continuous process improvement type project. So we are starting uh, that initiative in a very um, um, pilot project kind of way. Uh, we also have implemented our Leadership Academy, which is meant to really get all of our uh, supervisors and managers on the same page and trained up with all the different initiatives we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be going over the next two years um, with a CSAC endorsed uh, program that will allow our staff to be trained in strategic planning, continuous process improvement, and performance uh, management. Uh, we also uh, will be implementing best practices in the county and doing an organizational review. Uh, the strategic plan is our big initiative in this current fiscal year. Uh, we're gonna go over that in detail in the next few minutes, but basically we formed a staff steering committee which will be helping to design the process and one of the big outcomes that we want today from, from the board is your comments and guidance in terms of the process for the strategic planning initiative. Uh, we and we've already started training and having um, various methods of community input. Uh, we will be having study sessions throughout the year, and our goal is that by the end of this fiscal year in June, we will actually have adopted a multi-year strategic planning process, probably um, in the, uh, be a six-year time frame. Uh, we've already implemented the Leadership Academy, as I've explained to you. Uh, in next year, 2018 and 19, um, so we will we'll have already adopted the strategic plan by this point, and so next year at this time, we will be starting talking about the operational plan, which is really a way of implementing the strategic plan with more specific projects. And we will also be implementing a two-year budget, and that'll be next fis the 2018-19 fiscal year. So again, this year, the strategic plan, 
multi-year, next year, two-year operational plan, two-year budget, with the idea being that we would uh, implement the two-year operational plan by the spring of 2019, which again is carrying out the initiatives outlined in the strategic plan, as well as aligning that with the two-year budget. And so um, that is um, the next two years following that, uh, also in the next, in that second year, departments will start uh, developing strategic plans. Uh, departments will have plans that will align with the overall strategic plan as well as with the operational plan. So we have to have an alignment between our departments. Uh, and the other thing is that the departments need to align w with each other. And so that will be happening also in 2018-19. And then we get to 2019-20, this is the third year of this work plan, and at that point we will be uh, implementing a performance measurement initiative, and we will uh, have been um, carrying out at a countywide level the continuous process improvement initiative, which we will have been pilot, using pilot projects over the first two years. Uh, performance measurement is uh, very important because that's how we measure how we've done in terms of implementing projects. Uh, to achieve our goals that are outlined in the strategic plan. So it's very important that as we implement the strate strategic plan in this fiscal year, uh, that we think ahead and think how are we going to measure these goals and initiatives. And the, in particular, the performance measurement initiative will be tied to the operations plan and the two-year budget as a way to measure our progress. Uh, this is a little bit again about more performance measurement in 2019-20 and then the continuous process improvement also rolling it out full uh, countywide in 